June thirteenth, the second apparition of Our Lady at Fatima. Starting on May thirteenth, nineteen seventeen, Lucia, Francisco, and Jancita were respectively ten, nine, and seven years old. The three children lived in the hamlet of the township of Fatima. After three apparitions of the Angel of Portugal in 1916, the children began to receive visits from a luminous lady who later identified herself as the Lady of the Rosary. In Catholic language, Our Lady of the Rosary is the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God made man. The apparitions took place on a small property belonging to Lucia's parents, about a mile and a half from Fatima. On June 13, 1917, the second apparition of Our Lady occurred. Preceding the second apparition, the children who saw Our Lady, Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta, once again saw a great brilliance which they called lightning. Some people in the group of fifty spectators noticed that the light of the sunlight dimmed during the first few minutes of the conversation. Others said that the top of the budding oak bent down as if under the weight of something. During Our Lady's conversation with the children, some of the bystanders heard a whispering like the humming of a bee. Lucia said to Our Lady, What does your grace wish of me? Our Lady in return said, I want you to continue saying the rosary every day, she told the children on June 13th. Then she gave them this new addition. And after each one of the mysteries, my children, I want you to pray in this way. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need. If our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of the Rosary, tells us to include that, she must consider it something essential. When she appeared later, she would stress to the children to pray for poor sinners. Lucia then asked for the healing of a sick person. Our Lady said, If he converts, he will be healed within the year. Lucia then replied, I would like to ask you to take us to heaven. Our Lady said, Yes, I shall take Jancita and Francisco soon, but you will remain here for some time yet. Jesus wishes to use you in order to make me known and loved. He wishes to establish devotion to my immaculate heart in the world. I promise salvation to those who embrace it, and these souls will be beloved of God like flowers arranged by me to adorn his throne. Lucia then said, Will I stay here alone? No, daughter, said Our Lady. Does that make you suffer much? Do not be dismayed. I will never forsake you. My immaculate heart shall be your refuge and the road that shall lead you to God. Lucia writes, Upon saying these last words, she opened her hands, and for the second time she communicated to us the reflection of that intense light. We could see ourselves in it as if immersed in God. Jancita and Francisco seemed to be in part of the light that went up to heaven, and I in the part that was cast toward the ground. In front of Our Lady's right hand there was a heart encircled by thorns that seemed to pierce it. We understood that it was the Immaculate Heart of Mary, insulted by the sins of humanity, and which desires reparation. When this vision ceased, the lady, still surrounded by the light that she radiated, rose from the little tree and glided toward the east until she disappeared completely. Several persons who were closer noticed that the buds at the top of the oak were bent in the same direction as if they had been drawn by the lady's clothes. The branches returned to their usual position only some hours later.